It seems like AI is creeping into every aspect of our lives these days, and Focus SketchUp is no exception. In this video, I'm going to demo my newest innovation that's going to help you learn SketchUp and V-Ray faster than ever. I'm John Kapler, SketchUp expert and founder of Focus SketchUp, and I'm excited to introduce the Focused AI Bot. This is an AI model powered by ChatGPT that I've trained so that it's an expert on SketchUp, Layout, and V-Ray. This tool is available 24 seven and it can answer your questions about how to do specific actions in SketchUp, as well as give you helpful suggestions and step-by-step -step instructions, just like a real life instructor would. So how well does the focused AI bot work? I'm going to ask it some of the most frequently asked questions that I get from students, as well as some trickier questions that I come up with to see how well it performs. Let's dive in. All right, guys, this is the focused AI bot. This is what you will see. Uh, or something similar when you log in. And we have a, a window here, and this is where you can chat with the AI model powered by ChatGPT that is a SketchUp V-Ray and layout expert. So let's test it. So the first question I get, I'm gonna give this, is something I get asked a lot. And it is how do I configure toolbars in SketchUp for a Mac? because uh, on a Mac, toolbars and the default tray are handled differently. So this is one I get asked a lot. So how well does the Focus AI bot handle this question? Let's see. And there you go. So it tells us how to configure this for a Mac. Gives us a lot of information there, which is awesome. So this is exactly what I would wanna see. And this is something as a student that I would want to receive. These are detailed instructions and there's also uh, when, they're, when it's appropriate, it does give you links to uh, certain pages, like the help documents here for SketchUp, and you can click those to navigate uh, to those help files. So first question did great. Let's, uh, let's try another one. Um, how do I create accurate models with correct dimensions? So this is a question I get asked a lot as well because you want your models to be you know, true to scale, accurate, uh, that show things correctly how they are in the physical world. So the AI bot took that question and is giving us a pretty detailed answer here. All right, a seven step answer. Yep, using the tape measure tool, that's correct. Also mentions the protractor tool, the measurements box, which is in the lower right and corner of SketchUp. So this is all good information. So awesome. All right, next question I get is, um, what's the best way to organize a model using layers, oops, groups, and components? Let's see what the AI bot has to say about this question. All right. It gives us another detailed answer about layers, groups, and components. So there you go. Uh, yeah, layers for controlling visibility, uh, groups isolating things, and uh, related geometry. Perfect. So this is another great answer to the question. Um, all right. So let's uh, let's ask it. How do I add sunlight to my model? Sunlight is something that's very important to create realism in renders. So let's see what this has to say. All right, so this is an answer about how to add sunlight in SketchUp. Follow these steps, view shadows, that's right. Yep, this is all accurate information. So another helpful answer. So now let's ask it a question. So let's ask it to actually use its AI brain, right? So is the sunlight in SketchUp different than V-Ray? Let's see what it has to say about that. I know the answer is yes, but let's see if it knows that. Oh, there you go, yes. So we got the sunlight in SketchUp and V-Ray are different. Yeah, sunlight is built in in SketchUp. V-Ray has its own sunlight feature called V-Ray Sun. That's perfect. So this is correct. It used its AI smarts to give you a really helpful answer. All right, next question. Let's think of something here. Um, all right, can I import 
Oops. Models or elements from other programs. Oops. Um, into SketchUp. So these would be things from, for example, CAD or if you use 2020 for kitchen design, can you import those into SketchUp? And here you go. So yep, you can import those models, it talks about the 3D warehouse, and also about DWG and DXF files, object files, yep, FBX. So uh, it's another great answer. Pass the test. All right, so let's think about um, a scenario that happens sometimes that your V-Ray lights don't show in your render. What do you do about that? So uh, my V, whoops, V-Ray lights um, aren't showing when I render. What can I do? All right, so it says here, if your V-Ray lights are not showing when you render, wow, okay, long answer. There could be a few possible reasons. Check light visibility, that's true. Check light intensity, yes. Check light placement, I've, that's a good tip because sometimes the light uh, is on the same plane as something else and SketchUp and V-Ray don't know what to uh, prioritize as far as the light there. And also check light settings, yes. Check render settings. Perfect, that's a great answer. What about maps? So let's ask it, what's the difference between a normal map and a displacement map? So this is all stuff covered in my uh, focused V-Ray for SketchUp course. And all right, there we go. A normal map is a type of texture map that stores information about the surface. Uh, that is correct. Yep, bumps. So that's the big thing here is that it's used as in the bump uh, part of the V-Ray PBR material. Displacement affects geometry, which it nails on right here. It directly modifies the geometry. So there you go. This is a great answer. All right, that passed the test there too. Let's ask it something about how to create a specific thing. So what about stairs? How do I create stairs in SketchUp? There we go, to create stairs in SketchUp. You can follow these steps. Looks like the outline, the offset, the face using the push-pull tool to extrude them up. That's all correct. So again, yeah, that's a great answer. All right, let's talk about layouts. So how do I uh, send my SketchUp model to layout? And there you go. Yep, click the send to layout button in SketchUp. That is the perfect answer. All right, so that was helpful. What about how can I change the fractions? Um, on my dimensions in layout. So sometimes by default, this will have a 164 uh, fraction format, which we don't want all the time. I want to change that to a 1 16th or 1 8th. And here you go, this will tell you how to do it. Yeah. Perfect. All right, I like that answer. Let's see, for in layout, how do I add symbols for electrical items? That's a question I get asked sometimes as well. Let's see what this tells me. Hmm. Okay, so we get this message here. Uh, sometimes if you ask it again, it'll work. Let's see. There you go. So. Sometimes it can be a little glitchy. Uh, if there was a connection error or something on the back end, you might get that message. Just go ahead and ask your question again if that happens. So here we go. We got in layout, you can add symbols for electrical items by using the following three methods. Perfect. What about, just an oddball question, what about a, creating a yard in SketchUp? Um, how do I create a yard in SketchUp? This is something I don't cover in Focus SketchUp yet, 
Let's see if it knows how to do this. Yeah, I've seen this before. Let's do this. There we go. To create a yarn sketch up, you could use these general steps. Outline of the yard, push pull. Perfect. So it knows how to do things um, you know, outside of the realm of Focus SketchUp because it is an expert on all things SketchUp, V-Ray, and Layout. So you can ask it questions. You know, if you can't find something covered in the course, uh, you can ask it here. If you get stuck, you know, this is a great place to just ask away. There's no harm, there's no embarrassment because it is an AI bot tool. I'm really happy to see it answered all my questions with really thoughtful answers and correct answers. And that's really uh, you know, a game changer as far as getting instant help. It's like having a instructor behind you the whole time you're learning. So use this tool wisely. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'm excited to share this with you finally. Okay, as I've shown here in this video, the Focused AI Bot is a powerful tool that can be used as a learning assistant to give you really smart answers to your questions and get you unstuck fast. This is perfectly aligned with my proprietary learning concepts called the Focus Method, which emphasizes the importance of very responsive support so that you don't waste your time trying to figure out things on your own. If you're ready to get your hands on the Focused AI Bot, you can do so as part of my Focus 3D Club membership. When you join that club, you get access to the AI Bot as well as thousands of 3D objects that you can download and use in your SketchUp models to save you time while modeling. I'll include a link to the club in the description below. And if you are interested in my other courses about SketchUp and V-Ray, including my new animation course, I'll include a link to those as well. That's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.